In the wake of the vandalism and destruction uh, by developers illegally of the home of the revolutionary hero, uh, the O'Rahilly, I submitted to, uh, a question to the Minister for Housing, Local Government and Heritage, Dara O'Brien, to see whether or not an investigation had been carried out in relation to the, this destruction. Now, I, would, I expected that the Minister for Heritage, uh, having seen this level of destruction for that heritage, uh, would have taken upon himself to have that investigation, especially because when I asked the Taoiseach a question in the Dáil uh, just before that, the Taoiseach responded and he said, I think given the significance of the O'Rahilly uh, in terms of the War of Independence and his historic significance, I think that bringing it down to destroy it was absolutely shocking. So that was the Taoiseach's words. And I'd also thought he would have investigated it because I raised the issue with uh, the Minister Dara O'Brien and the Minister uh, Noonan as well in advance of the building being knocked down. Um, I told both ministers that this building was under significant threat of demolition in advance. No action was taken, the building was demolished and a significant element of the heritage of this state uh, was floored forever. So when I asked the question, shockingly the answer I got back was, and I was informed by the Minister, the minute, and he said that the Minister for Housing, Local Government and Heritage has no official responsibility for an investigation into the destruction of the home of the O'Rahilly. So it is a typical example from what I can see of ministers saying this is not my responsibility, look elsewhere and deflecting uh, to other departments. Now I would like to ask uh, Minister Noonan if possible, under the new regime, will he undertake an investigation of what happens to that building? Will he ensure that we find out who was responsible for the destruction of our heritage? And also, will he go about seeking for that building to be rebuilt uh, and uh, returned to its, uh, uh, its former state? The second issue I want to raise in, in the short period of time is Moore Street. The Moore Street battlefield site is the birthplace of the Irish Republic. It's where men and women of 1916 risked everything for an independent democratic republic. And part of the reason why Minister Noonan and Minister O'Brien are able to be ministers in this republic is because of the sacrifice of those men and women. Yet, Moore Street is in a shocking situation. Moore Street could be an international heritage hub. It could be a cultural hub for the people of Dublin and for the rest of the country. It could be a market to rival the great markets of the rest of Europe. What is Moore Street now? Moore Street is an outdoor toilet. And it gives me no pleasure to say that. If you speak to many of the people who work on Moore Street, they'll tell you there's violence, there's drugs, and there's people defecating in that street. And Moore Street has been allowed to fall into that level of dereliction by two governments, at least, in the last while. It is an incredible situation that the government actually owned buildings on Moore Street and are refusing to to rejuvenate those buildings and turn them into heritage sites where people can engage with, can, people can learn about the sacrifices made uh, by the men and women of 1916. Now, I would urge Minister Noonan to take it upon himself to make sure that he does not leave office in the same manner that repeated ministers for heritage have left office, leaving Moore Street standing in dereliction. And the last point I want to bring up is a Schlieve McGalley. Uh, that is in Loch Roo in the northwest part of County Meath. Sleeve the Galley uh, is a, a phenomenal passage tomb, a tomb to rival uh, Newgrange. And I've heard uh, archaeologists say it, it's Newgrange without the lipstick. So, in other words, it's a more uh, uh, real example, probably, of what a passage grave would have looked like. And on the top of Sleeve the Galley, you can see 18 counties. In the last week, People have scribbled graffiti on Neolithic art that's there for thousands of years. And the tomb still lies, that anybody can go up and lift anything they want off that tomb. I would ask, under this new regulation, that Minister Noonan and Minister O'Brien would commit to safeguarding that particular site so that the people of the world can celebrate the value that it has and can engage and learn about the people who lived at that time.